Newtom 5G XL is the device that extends the very best CBCT technology to new fields of application. It is the only system with a motorized patient table that combines high diagnostic resolution with minimum patient exposure. Extra potential for radiologists and specialist physicians. After welcoming a patient, her folder can be retrieved from the patient records or a new entry can be made from the special screen page. Afterwards, the physician uses the scan manager window to submit to the software the patient orientation on the table and select the field of view to be used. Each field of view is associated with a resolution, standard or high resolution. To start the scanning procedure, select the patient scan button and choose from EcoScan, Regular Scan, and enhanced scan. EcoScan is recommended to examine pediatric patients due to the limited dose and for post-op follow-up examinations. Enhanced scan provides even higher quality than the regular protocol but with a higher dose and longer exposure time. While data capturing screens are displayed, the NNT software always supplies the directions to follow. We are ready to place the patient on the table. The gurney must be fully removed from the gantry and locked by the handle located next to the keypad. Then press the P2 button on the table control pad to bring the table to the default position. Now the patient can sit down. We are going to describe the procedure to examine the anatomical region of the skull and neck. But with Newton 5G XL, scans can be performed of the lower limbs and upper limbs too, with the patient lying down on the table, or even sitting using a chair, with access to the gantry from the back of the machine. Once the anatomical region to be examined has been selected, the patient must be brought to the scan preparatory position by pressing the P1 key. Unlock the gurney and slide it to move the patient into the gantry, then lock it again. For precision adjustments, the laser centering device can be used. To activate it, press the laser key on the control console. In this case, it is necessary to have started the NNT software or on keypads on the sides of the scanning unit. Perform a fine adjustment of the patient's position using the movement control keys up, down, left, right. If necessary, fix the anatomical part with the supplied fixing devices. After going back to the console, the physician hits next and using the X-ray flash button obtains the first scout image. The scout image will then be displayed on the screen allowing the patient's position to be adjusted by holding down the control key and moving the image with the mouse. After completing any required adjustments, a new automatic scout image will be obtained to be checked. If no further adjustments are needed, by pressing next you will switch to the front scout image and the same procedure should be followed. Before starting the scan, a window is displayed on the PC showing a waiting status. Below the latest scout image, the physician will find two scanning options, standard dose, standard radiological parameters, and boosted dose. The latter increases the X-ray load and improves the image quality if the patient is edentulous or with few implants, fillings, or crowns. The stop button allows the whole capturing procedure to be stopped at any time. 
Before starting the scan using the start button, the patient should be asked not to move and breathe through her nose. During the scan, the scanning progress can be monitored on the PC. At the end of the described procedures, the file is automatically stored and it is possible to check the scan using the special buttons. At the end of the scan, unlock the gurney and remove the patient from the gantry, moving the gurney outwards and then locking it again. Then press the P2 key to move the patient back to the initial position and lead her out. The 5G XL extends CBCT technology into multiple fields of application, all-round diagnostic capacity.